There's no goddamn room in this goddamn room. That was a used one. That was used. Whoa! Welcome, fart smellers! You're all a bunch of fart smellers. You all smell farts! Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 167... 167. Now, let me tell you something. If this is your first time being here, you're in for a fucking shitty ride, okay? It's a shit ride. And you ain't gonna enjoy it. But maybe you will. The, the best part about this podcast is that you don't enjoy the ride. That's the best part of it, okay? You come on the ride, you realize this is gonna be... Or no, you first think this might be fun, and then you you know you start going along the roller coaster, going up the track, and then you realize this isn't actually going to be fun. Once you hit that peak, and you're about to go downhill, you're like, uh, okay, this is it. I'm stuck. Okay. So if you want to be stuck on this roller co coaster ride with with me, I suggest you hit subscribe. I suggest you hit the like. And you know, I also suggest hitting that fucking bell notification because my hairs and my beard and my neck keep keep getting they get stuck to the material of this shirt and then when I move my head, it pulls the hairs out. So I'm making a sacrifice for you, okay? My hairs are getting ripped out of my fucking skull so that I can make this shit podcast. And you won't even hit the bell notification? You won't even hit the bell notification. Okay? Let me just blow my nostril for a second. I'm bl back. And blacker than ever. <clears throat> yeah, maybe I shouldn't say that. Um, yeah, please. And you know what? Leave a comment, too. Why don't you just leave a comment? Just whatever you're doing right now, just p pause the video and write poop, I pooped my pants in the comments. Put that there right now. Okay? You need to do that. It feels like it's been a little bit since I've recorded an episode of the podcast. Which it kind of has been. Uh, Rudy, Rudy Pot J was the last guest on. And uh, we're going to have more guests. Don't you worry. It's just, I'm getting, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving like a slug here. Slow and steady wins the race. And I'm also very hungry. I just I just got extremely hungry right now. It's also 197,000 degrees outside. Which means my air conditioner doesn't reach this, this room. So, it's hot in here. Don't know what I'm going to talk about today. But, here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card. But it's not tradition to show you what's on the card. But you'll find out anyway because we'll talk about it. I wrote a few things on here, but uh, I'll just say it right now. This episode's going to be a freelanced episode. It's going to be nothing but whatever comes to the top of my, my dome. Whatever comes to the old nig nog. You know the drill. Pack your bags. You're going to Mexico. They say when you're hungry, you're happy. And when you're full, you're dissatisfied. Why do they say that? They say that because people are too greedy nowadays. You see? We always want to be full. We're always running around telling ourselves, I'm hungry. I need to eat. No, you don't need to eat. Just don't eat. Just when you feel the hunger, when you feel like really hungry, like so hungry you're about to puke because you're so used to eating constantly, just stop eating for a second. Just stop eating and wait for that pukey feeling to pass because it will. Usually it takes, like usually I sneeze. I have a sneeze that I do and then the hunger goes away. Okay? So yeah, just let the hunger fade away and you'll feel a little better. Don't eat. 
for days. Just go days without eating. Just try it. It's very hard, but try it. It's fun. David Blaine does it. I've been getting into back into David Blaine. I love I've always loved David Blaine. I've always loved magicians in general. Um, but David Blaine on August 31st, depending on the wind conditions, depending on the wind conditions, is going to go fucking flying up in 25,000 feet holding some fucking balloons filled with uh not helium hydrogen or something because helium's too expensive and youtube's sponsoring the whole thing youtube's the fucking guy i feel like i have a blister on my foot i just watched him on rogan last night and let me tell you it was one of the best podcasts i've seen in a while i really enjoyed it i was really into it um Normally, you look at David Blaine as like this quiet, kind of socially awkward guy. Which, don't get me wrong, he is. But on the podcast, he he talked a lot. But he gets distracted very easily. He gets sidetracked almost instantly. (laughs) As soon as he starts telling a story, he immediately gets sidetracked. I don't think he answered any of the questions you know, within like 10 minutes of when they were asked. I think he eventually answers most of the questions that Joe asks, but he doesn't answer them until like fucking like an hour later because he gets so sidetracked. The guy has a lot going on. I'm curious to know why he's always late for stuff. Well, no, I'm not curious. I know why. He's the fuck. He's a big shot. He's got shit on his plate. He's got all kinds of stuff to do. Don't fucking look at me with that face. I see you looking at me, Gregory. And Lance? What kind of name is Lance anyway? Get a new name, Sir Lancelot. You want to hear some automaton to pass the time by? I mean, we got loads of time. If I knew how to play an instrument, I would play an instrument. I should have pursued music. I feel like it's something I could really get into. See, mummy knows. It's frozen again. How come every fucking time I every time I use my stream deck, it freezes? It's been nowadays. Um. Like it's like it has to fucking warm up. Like it's a goddamn pickup truck in the middle of winter. Look, it's fucking freezing again. Um. Quit freezing, you cummy bastard. What do you want to talk about? What the f do you want to talk about? It's like a million degrees in here. Okay, I'm hot and I'm hungry. These are not ideal conditions to be filming a poop cast, all right? But this is literally the only day, the only opportunity I have to film this shit. You understand? So, um, yeah. Because the whole rest of the week, I got so much shit in my face. Sensations. Malacious. Scrupulacious. Bossa Nova. Let's talk about tampons for a second. No, let's not. I literally have I li- I literally have nothing to talk about. So why don't we just why don't we just scrub through these fucking TikToks here? We fucking deliver in the forces! The forces we did it lads! We fucking won! Oh fuck wait! Hey, hey wait, they're coming! They're, lads, they're coming! There's a fuck come over! Oh, wait, fucking get on the field! Frederick! 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 
<laughs> what do you think of that, huh? If you don't play or watch video games, you're looking at this like, what the fuck am I watching? Because you're a goddamn boomer. Hate boomers. <laughs> I don't like boomers who act like a boomer. Okay? Don't. I'm worried that when I get old, when I turn into an old fat piece of shit, I'm not going to be able to. You know, I'm going to be the same way that the boomers are today. I'm going to be fucking clueless. I'm not going to have any idea about, you know, what's hip and new. It's a worrying thought. Because you look, <laughs> you look at the old people today. Every generation looks at the old people in their time. And they, and they look at them and they see and say stuff like, you know, you just, you just, you just really get to recognize how clueless and oblivious the old people really are. They have no idea. But maybe you also got to think like, well, when you are that age, you just really don't give a fuck about anything. So maybe they do recognize they're clueless. No, they don't. They don't recognize it. They just don't care. They don't understand. They just don't understand. I don't know. I use a Facebook. Someone sent me a Facebook the other day. How do I send a Facebook back? Can I Facebook you? What is that? Email or something? How many emails do I have? I don't know, Grandma. Look in your inbox. How do I do that? Click it. Ha! Huh? Click the inbox. Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? Yeah, this is too difficult. I need you to come down and do this for me. Grandma, just click the inbox button. I can't. I can't. I don't know what that is. I can't find it. I just want to send you a Facebook. Can I just send you a Facebook? Grandma, that doesn't even make sense. What? Well, I sent you a Facebook yesterday. That's not grammatically correct, Grandma. You send a, a message, a Facebook message. Yeah, that's what I mean. How do I do that? Just, are you on your phone or are you, are you on your computer? Huh? Are you on your phone or are you on your computer? Ah, I can do it on both, can't I? Yes, but what are you using right now? Uh, I can use... Uh, what should I use? What's easier? <sighs> Just use your phone, Grandma. Okay. How do I get to the screen again? How do I get that screen? Grandma. Fuck, Grandma. What? I don't know this stuff, okay? This stuff is too advanced for me, okay? I don't know this. I know, Grandma. Now just open up your Facebook Messenger app. Huh? Open the Facebook Messenger app, Grandma. Huh? Where's that? I don't see that. How do I open it? Oh, my God. You got to find... Where is it on your home screen? Ah, uh, I'm going to need you to come do this. I don't know how to do... Grandma, you want me to come to your house... Open your Facebook Messenger app and send myself a message. I just don't know how to do Okay, Grandma, why don't you open up YouTube and look up a YouTube tutorial on how to use Facebook Messenger? What's that? That's what it's like. It's painful. It's a pain. It's a pain in my dingus. They just have no idea. They're clueless. They're brainless. And they all need to die. What else do we got in the old fucking bucket list here? Well, That's a good one. So these folks, these fine feathered folks, decided they were gonna go on a nice booze cruise on a on a ship to Mexico. I don't know where they're going, but they grabbed a hold of the microphone, and uh, you know they started hyping up the crowd, and the captain. 
he joined in on the action. Let's take a listen. What's the problem? What? Listen up. Time out. Time out. Every, can everybody hear me? Yeah. I don't know what you're doing. I'm the captain on this boat. I've been doing this 25 years. I have never felt a boat shake like that before from jumping up and down. Thank you so much for the compliment. You disrespectful motherfuckers, stop talking for a second. When I'm making an announcement, you shut the fuck up and listen to me. We're going back to the dock. Oh. I never seen something so disrespectful in my entire fucking life. Wow. When I'm speaking, you shut the. You like that guy? That's a what a great captain, huh? You know. If you're going to host a fucking booze cruise, you got to expect the boat's going to fucking rock, bro. Rock the boat, but don't tip the boat over, okay? They didn't tip the boat. This guy's just got an angry, he's just angry, you know? He's got some shite going on in his life, I bet. And these people, they looked a little Jewish to me. They all had yarmulkes on, I think. It's really dark, so it's hard to tell. So if they're not Jewish, whatever. I don't need to apologize. Okay? Enough apologizing. All right? You think something some way, but it's not that way, so you're automatically a racist? No. That's not right. Don't think that way! Come on. Get your garbanzo beans in order. Shove them up your ass. Okay, this guy, this captain is a little bit of a douche. All right? You know? But the way he worded his fucking, his little statement there, I've been a captain on this ship for 20 years, and I have never felt the boat rock this much. <laughs> They're like, woo! Hell yeah, baby! Thank you, we are great. You know, they were happy. He thought he was pumping them up. But nope. He brought them down hard. These disrespectful motherfuckers. We're going back to the dock. I've never seen this in the likes of my kind. You guys aren't welcome on my ship anymore. <laughs> Hold on. You know, but that's the thing. You do a thing for so many years, you're going to reach a point where you don't want to do it anymore. It was once what you thought was once would have been fun, you know, hosting a, a a booze cruise turned into a fucking nightmare because you've been doing it for 20 years. You can't hold it together. I'm dreaming of a white shit mess. Just like the ones I used to know. There'll be bells and whistles. Lots of tinsel, tints, tints, tint, tint, tints, tint, tint, Sometimes dead air is fun. It's been. Um. Does someone want to send me a bigger stream deck? I literally only have six buttons, so I have to flip through a, f a thousand folders to find anything that I need. Thank you. I appreciate. I appreciate it. Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? Huh? Remember this one? I am like the elephant. I never forget. Oh. Oh, I did it wrong. Wait, Try to keep this like a, a fist from your face. I need some more fart sounds. 
That's literally the only fart that I f can have. And it's frozen. Frozen. Nothing better than a stream deck that's frozen. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna fucking break this fucking thing. I'm gonna fucking break this fucking thing. Okay, let's restart it then. Quit the fucking stream deck. Quit it. Oh, it's fucking now it's. I gotta unplug it. Is this the right one? Yep. Thank the Lord Jesus. Plug her back in. Does that offend people when I say thank the Lord? The fast way is, is drop thermonuclear weapons over the poles. Oh, okay, thanks. Thanks, Elon. That's how you get rid of the people. Coronavirus! <sighs> okay, how good, how, good, how good are you at rapping? Can you rap? Can you, can you stick with the flow of the beat? Can you go like bop a do boop a dee bop a bop a dee boop a bop a bop a bop a bop a bop I found a guy on Tick Tick, okay, who was rapping to a beat, a very popular beat, by um, Migos. You know the one. Uh, what the hell is the song? Walk It Like I Talk It. That one, okay. And there's, you know, Dr. Seuss book, books, Dr. Seuss books, okay? They all rhyme. Perfect for rapping. This guy combined the two and made a lovely video. Hopefully I don't get claimed for the beats, but hopefully I, but I probably will. So, but this is worth it because it is so good. You're going to shit your pants, okay? But the shit's going to be so good because it's been influenced by this video that you're going to have to eat the shit. Oh, right. I... In my pocket. Huh? Walk it in my pocket. Okay. Walk it in my pocket. 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 In my pocket. Walk it in my pocket. Did you ever have a feeling there's a basket in your basket or a girl in your bureau or was it in your closet? Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a jerk in the curtain. Sometimes I have a feeling there's a zap behind the clock. And you step up on the shelf. I have talked to him myself. I said, uh -huh. myself up on the shelf. I have talked to him myself. Say That's what? The kind of house I live in. There's a ink up in the sink. Uh -huh. And a sample up in the lap. And they're nice, I really think. Uh, uh, yeah. Some of them are friendly, like that yacht up in the pot. But Woo! the yacht up in the bottle. Some are friendly, some are not. Uh -huh. I have a sable on the table when I get under the chair. Mm. But that bofo on the sofa, well, I wish she wasn't there. Oh, and yeah. those numbers in the cupboards, yeah, they're fun to have about. But that new brush on my tooper, see him. I could do without say and what I oh I wish it would have kept going I could listen to that all fucking day bro was that not good or was that was that good that was some of the best shit I've ever seen on the old tick tick I love a good tick tick Walk it in my pocket. There's a walk it in my pocket. There's a walk it in my pocket. What? But but that about moonwalk on a shit. Moon talk on a bitch. Oh, my neighbors are home. I heard the door close. I can't wait to eat some food because I'm so fucking hungry. But I told myself at the beginning of this podcast it's okay to not eat for days. Don't eat for days. Don't eat for days. Let me tell you. Um, since I had to switch to using my cell phone to record, it's been good and it's been mostly bad, though. The good thing is that the quality is much higher than that shitty old fucking camera I was using. All right? It picks up light much better than that shitty old camera I was using. Like, before, I had both my lights max fucking to the absolute max setting. You couldn't get them any brighter, and yet it was still super dim on that camera. Now, this, when I use this one, I still kept them at the max because I just didn't think about it. 
and the first you know few episodes i was like really bright and i might be still really bright i turned them down some but i might still be really bright because i'm still trying to figure it out because the camera is literally the, the cell phone is right against a wall so for me to what is that noise Is that a lawnmower? I think that's a lawnmower. So for me to actually hit record, you know, sit down, uh, say some shit, go back, hit pause, check the lighting. It's a pain in the ass, so I'm just figuring out as I go. What is that, a lawnmower? Hey! Mow your lawn some other day. What did I say? This guy's mowing his lawn. Um. I could really use some Chinese food right now. I would shove that Chinese food so far down my throat. It would just come out my anus. Are you taking uh, coronavirus seriously? You wear a mask out in public? Are you social distancing? Are you not going to parties? That, uh, you know, at this point, you can do what you want to do. You and, and I don't mean do, do parties and don't wear your mask. What I'm saying is you can wear the mask. You can not socially distance. Or you can social distance, I mean. But, uh... Is it really going to matter? Because uh, no, um, there's a lot of people that are not following Proto. Okay? They're not following... Pro what is that noise? Is that a vacuum cleaner? I think that's a vacuum cleaner. That's not a lawnmower. That's a vacuum cleaner. People don't m m mow their lawns in their house. And that's coming from in the house. No, that's a... I can smell the lawn clippings. That's a lawnmower. Maybe they're vac. Maybe they're lawn. Mo they're mowing the lawn and then they're sucking up the grass clippings with a vacuum. That's what they're doing. Anyway, what I'm saying is, a lot of people are not socially distancing and doing the protocols of the mask and whatnot. So, what do you do? You know, what the fuck do you do? All right, whether you believe in the mask or not, I don't know what the fuck to say, bro. You know? Corona Corona does what Corona wants to do. It's a difficult situation. You tell people what to do, they say don't tell me what to do. It's free conch. It's free conch. As Chris Delilah would say, but he's canceled big time. Have you seen the news? The guy's getting replaced on his fucking zombie movie that he was going to be in, and he was super excited about that because he loves, he's always wanted to be an action movie star. Well, guess what? All his hopes and dreams have been flushed down the toilet because of a few text messages he sent. Isn't that great? Man, it must feel great to be a fucking celebrity. Gosh, I can see why everyone wants to be a celebrity. Here's some kids who didn't socially distance. What is that it? That was it? <laughs> <laughs> For those listening, that was a good representation of the Peanuts, Charlie Brown episodes where they, you know, they were all, all the characters were dancing on stage. It was a very good representation. I liked it. I thought I would show it. <clears throat> I want to talk about this guy, though. There's this guy who wears funky shirts, okay? He kind of looks like Jordan Peterson. <laughs> um, 
he rides his bicycle down his street. He's always like in a panic mode. Like he's always paranoid and panicked over some sort of conspiracy theory. Um, I guess a UPS driver has been stealing his packages, or so he thinks, because he orders these laxatives that have mushrooms infused into them. So he can poop, but he also gets um, a high, f- uh, uh, you know, a psychedelic high from it as well. And I don't remember if this is the video that I saved, but he has lots of videos like this where he chases down people using uh, porta potties because he thinks the porta potties are uh, listening. Tracking your information or something? I can't remember. Hello, my name is Tom Sprague, and maybe this is too much information for you, but I suffer from constipation, and but it is important why I'm making this video right now. I buy a certain laxative from Oaxaca, way down in southern Mexico, and it works fabulously on my bowels. I'm waiting for the UPS truck right now. He's having a cigarette. And it also has a hallucinogen in it, so... It clears my mind while it clears my intestinal tract. And the UPS, this this particular UPS driver has been stealing my Oaxaca made laxative. And I wanted to film this in case he tries anything. He just put a cigarette out right now. Oh my God, and you know what? I have an itch on my nose, can I scratch? Excuse me. Wait, is that it? Oh yeah, there's two parts. I didn't save the second part. So if you want, if you want to see the second part, go to TikTok. Tom Sprag Eight. That's T O M S P R A G U E Eight. He also has a YouTube channel. Um. The guy, you know, you might be, you might watch that video and be like, well, that's okay. This guy's just trying to get his laxatives back. Well, all of his videos are like this, where he's on his bike, he's chasing someone down over something that he thinks happened. But it it never concludes. There's never like a conclusion. He never shows himself getting the UPS driver or tracking down the person who's at the porta potty. So I don't know if he's crazy or if it's just an act, but if it's not an act, I think this guy's fantastic. I've got so many fucking videos to show, like I could literally just siphon through all of these. Boom, 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 boom. One after the other. Because I don't know how long I've been running for. I don't have a timer anymore. There's no way to tell. Is there any way to tell? What does this say? Beats and time? What is that, hour? There's no fucking way we've been going for an hour and a half. That's not right. An hour and a half already? There's no fucking way, dude. That's not right. That can't be right. Whoa. Oh my god, that's cool. That's fucking cool. I could just do that. That's fucking cool. If I open them all up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just found something out. Hey! That's fancy. That's fucking fancy. But the the the, the Im- they stay. Why do they stay? Why don't they go away? Like a bad tumor. Uh, that's all I got. I was waiting. 
That's all I got. It was weak. How do you sit there and fart like that and not even laugh? You know? I'd be fucking laughing my ass off the entire time. I used to watch this show. I was obsessed with this show when I was a, a teen agger. The show was called Kenny vs. Spenny. It's a Canadian TV show. These two guys, they live in a house together, and they just set these challenges for each other. It's a competition between the two, okay? And whoever, you know, it's just an endurance battle between the two, and whoever finishes on top gets to humiliate the other person. It was a great fucking show. It was my ultimate favorite show when I was young, you know, around 14 years old. Me and Rudy Pache, that was our favorite show. We loved that show. We were obsessed with it. We would, I would watch those episodes over and over and over again. I still have them all saved on one of my old hard drives here. Because I just could not get enough of Kenny versus Spenny. I miss those days. But anyway, one of the episodes was who could blow the biggest fart. And so, you know, they were eating, you know, gassy foods, trying to do that. And then they, they got to a point where Kenny, he he just shoved, like, an air tube up his ass. And he was forcing air up his butt so he could produce these farts. And they would measure these farts on, like, a fart measuring device. But the forced air that he put up his ass was not natural, so it didn't register on the machine. But let me tell you... The farts he was blowing while forcing that air up his ass were incredible. I highly recommend you watch that episode. It's like season four. I believe it's season four, episode two or something. Who can blow the biggest fart? And there's a point where he he forces so much air up his ass with like an air pump and then stands on the stairs right next to where Spenny is. And he crouches down on the stairs. And he farts for like a solid 30 seconds. And it was the funniest thing I had ever seen. I don't laugh at it anymore because I've seen it too many times. But it will make you laugh hysterically. Because (laughs) Spenny doesn't laugh at farts. He's super like neurotic and always cranky, always in a bad mood. (laughs) And so when Kenny does the fart, Kenny's just turned around staring at Spenny the entire time he's farting. He's not smiling. And Spenny's not smiling either. He's just standing there with like his jaw open like <laughs> It was perfect. It was it was brilliant. I love a good fart. Cuz I know I know you. I know you. What? I found it in your area. I found it in your your box. Your box of stuff. Mother yelling at her son while her other son plays the SpongeBob theme. (laughs) That's a great idea. Uh, We literally have four videos left to do, so why don't we just zip right through them here? A lot of these solo episodes are turning into me just watching TikToks. Which is fine, you know? If you're going to do a podcast every week by yourself, the whole production is literally by yourself. It's draining, especially when you got other shit to do, including work, maintaining your house. You know, you got there's always shit to do when you're an adult. So trying to squeeze this in and think of stuff to talk about gets bananas sometimes. So it's kind of nice to just sit back and relax and watch a few tick ticks, isn't it? I've lost my hat. Johnny! What are you doing, boss? Hey! Looking good! Hey! He's got a sheep. For those listening, this this fella here, he uh, he's in a vehicle. He says he lost, I lost me hat. 
turns the camera around. There's a sheep sitting in the driver's seat. Or I think it was probably the passenger seat. <laughs> With his hat and his glasses on. It's just a it's just a it's nice little video. Nice little video of a sheep with a hat on and some glasses. Just chilling. Whoo! Dead ass. You guys watch YMH? I might need to shave my beard. Shave my beard and shave my pubes. Shave my butthole. I shaved my butthole once. And it was not pleasant. Do not recommend shaving your butthole. I do not. I do not. Please don't shave your butthole. Why? You only shave your butthole if you're going to shave it every night, which you're not going to. But if you're going to, then shave it every night because, well, even then it's still not fun. Because when it's shaved, the sweat builds up so much that you literally have swass all day every day okay not only that but then when the hairs do start growing in they rub your cheeks rub together and you get chafed real bad not only that but well i guess that's it really so you get a sweaty chafed asshole if you shave your anus uh, but the alternative is you know, if you have a hairy ass like I do you get dingleberries okay You when you poop there's so much hair in there that the poop literally gets clogged in fur and it clumps I wish we had more pressure in our anuses to push the poop out so it could just go right through the hair not fun having dingleberries. Ask the buffalo. They know all about it. This guy has a sleep apnea, apnea machine. Hose with a mask tied to his face. And watch what this guy is going to do. Man, we've been talking a lot about shit and farts today. Why did I say that, I wonder? I feel like if you're going to do something like that, shove the tube right up your ass. You know? I don't know if just putting the hose next to your butt with your pants on while you fart would do it. So I'm thinking that video might be fake. I don't even know what this video is. I don't even remember. So why don't we both find out? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, no, no, no. How you feeling, man? I, I'm pretty lucky. <laughs> Say what? I, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm pretty fine. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm good. You're, you're... How are you? I'm good. Can you finish these lyrics real quick? Okay. <laughs> back home again. I can't wait to get back on the road again. Back again? Dude. Like, front of baggers? Like, I don't know if I know this whole Who's <laughs> living? Back home again. Back home again. In. 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 Land. <laughs> Man. Wow. That guy was baked. He might have been on some other s substances other than cannabis. But if you were listening, I don't even have to explain, okay? It's an, it's an on-the-street interview. Obviously, this guy is blitzed out of his goddamn mind. He's Baja blitzed. Baja. Baja. Ho ho ho. Ho ho yeah, bro. Oh, so high. Oh. That was not an Asian accent. <sighs> I hope I have a guest on next week because this shit is so fucking draining and weak. Listen, folks, you're going to have episodes where it's me just watching TikToks. 
but you're also going to have episodes where I put time in and, and, and effort into actually talking about shit that needs to be talked about. You're going to get a mix of both. And then you're also going to have guest episodes. So, I don't know what to tell you. It's been. Okay, this is the final video for this episode. This guy is a great guy. For those listening, you need to watch this episode because this is the most important video you will ever see in your entire life. It's. It's another poop related thing. But it's it's worth the watch. Highly recommend you watch it. Highly recommend. And if not, go to Alex Shot 18 TikTok page. That's A L E X S C H O T T 1 8. Okay? And look for the video with the guy you know, outside of the boat in, like, some green water. Is that the lawnmower again? Enough said. Why don't we just watch it, okay? Why don't we just watch it, and we'll talk about it after. I'd be so pissed. What you doing, Taylor? <laughs> Taylor. He's what are you doing, Taylor? He's Taylor, tell me. I'm taking shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Like actually. laughs> Tell me no. Let me know how it feels. I, I want to document <laughs> this. Do you get any out? Is it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. <laughs> wow. That'd be so much more fun. Than first. You poop before you pee? <laughs> well, I, just to... <laughs> I, think, I can't look at it. I can't look at it. So That's so long. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit. That's so many. Okay, so this guy, you know, he's hanging outside the boat. You know, he's got his arms resting on the boat, and he's taking a shit in the water. It's green, filthy, disgusting water. The boat looks nasty as well. But his shits, they all floated. <laughs> But I swear, eat, there was like, how many? One, two, three, four, five. There was probably six pieces of floating shit. And they were all like a foot long. This guy had six foot long shits just floating in the in behind him there. Man, this episode is full of shit, isn't it? This is like a shit episode. <laughs> Start with farts and shit. Because it's funny, okay? You think it's gross, which it is, but it's funny, you know? If you were there, if I was there on that boat when that guy took a shit in the water and I saw those long logs floating in behind him, I would have laughed uncontrollably for the entire fucking trip. You understand? It's always more funnier in person. But that's an excellent video. Ah! Well, well, that's it for this episode of the the Shit Dynamite Gizmo podcast. I know this episode was garbage as well. There's a lot of garbage episodes. A lot of garbage episodes. But that's okay because we are going to keep on trucking. We're going to we're going to plow through the garbage every episode. So, stay tuned. Uh please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, and that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.